All right, this is um, not really playing a game. This is just me showing you what do I own on the PS3. A lot of these were not bought for PS3. The PS3 I got was um, because a uh, pawn shop I happened to be screwing around in really needed the room. And they were like trying to get rid of PS3s and 360s because a lot of people had just pawned their um, Xbox Ones and PS4s and Wii U's. Go figure. So, a lot of these were bought for PSP. But, since they're on the PS3, I can make a video showing it. So, let's start here. What is it? Street Fighter Alpha. And it reads, Intense, Brutal Combat. Why is Brutal Combat capitalized? Both words are capitalized. It's It's odd. Brutal Combat. Um, I know there's Brutal, and <laughs> um, there's a game called Combat. <laughs> you know, Combat. Yeah, Combat. So, Brutal Combat, and it's capitalized. Try to spell Combat with a K. Every Warrior's Dream. Oh, yeah, put the uh, subtitle in right there. The most devastating street fighters of all time in one ultimate contest. No, that would be a different street fighter game. All right, rated T for T. Next up, Angry Birds. Angry Birds. Well, you should know Angry Birds. After that, and here it is, Final Fantasy Origins. Explore the beginnings of the popular Final Fantasy series. This collection contains the first two titles. Rated teen? Why? No, seriously, why? Why is it rated teen? Okay, here we go. This, right here. Street Fighter Alpha 3. Select from over 30 characters and choose one of the three fighting styles in this classic fighter. This has, like, everybody and the kitchen sink in it at the time. This, if I had to recommend to somebody, oh, I have a Super Nintendo. All right, you have a Super Nintendo. Well, what Street Fighter game should I get? Well, I recommend that you get Street Fighter Alpha 2. I have a Game Boy Advance. What Street Fighter game I should get? Well, that's obvious. Street Fighter Alpha 3. <laughs> I have a PSP, Street Fighter Alpha 3. I have a Saturn, Street Fighter Zero 3. I have a regular PlayStation, Street Fighter Alpha 3. Are you seeing a pattern here? I have a GameCube, an Xbox, and a PS2. Capcom vs. SNK 2. Let's move on here. Next up is Street Smart. Fight through the biggest American street fighting tournament ever. No, I don't think so. I'm nostalgic of this game, but it's not a good game. Here's the um, next one is a Mini Squadron. Mini Squadron is a frantic shooter, you mean a bullet hell, involving little planes vying for supremacy of the skies. Perform loop the loops. I don't even know what that turn is. Um, blah, 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 blah. I don't care. All right. Here's uh, one of my wife's favorite games, Flying Hamster. <laughs> I'm just going to leave it at that. This one. Um, Wait, hold on, hold on. I think I know what this is. I think I know what this is. Let me see if I have this right. Mm. Uh, hey, uh, um, let's see here. All right, anyone there speak Korean? Sangnom Napunom Mahalom. All right, okay. <laughs> that, that is a babu ya. Okay, I am going to stop here. <laughs> um, oh boy, I just, I, if you speak Korean, well, if you speak Korean, you just, just might figure out what I just said. All right, moving on here. And uh, we have uh, Street Fighter Alpha 2. Explodes on screen with lightning fast gameplay. No exclamation point. Push your talents to the limit as you just. Me? Me? I'm going to discover all this stuff? No, I already knew all of it. I played this in the arcade. But get that game on Sega Saturn, actually. Or Super Nintendo, if you're still avoiding the optical disc revolution. Pac Man CE? I'm not going to read the summary. Monopoly. 
And there you go. Monopoly. <laughs> Monopoly. Final Fantasy VIII. Join. Pull the name out of my ass. Squall Leonhart. I know what a Leon is in Spanish. And then there's a lion. <laughs> okay. Leo is Latin for lion. Leonardo is, is mm, a ninja turtle. Squall. Squall with two L's. Squall. Come on. And then friends. Friends, right. You mean like that teacher wearing that miniskirt or whatever she's wearing. Mm hmm Yeah, okay. As they train. Oh, I bet they want to run a train up her. At Balam Garden. Balam? Why not just call it Mace Windu Garden? Battle monsters. An attempt to protect the world from an evil sorceress while discovering the truth about their past. No. Let's not and say I didn't. <laughs> Metal Slug X. Feel the heat of battle without having to live with the scars from shrapnel in this run and gun shooter. Without, there should be a comma in a few places there. Let me read it with a comma. Feel the heat of battle without having to live with the scars from shrapnel in this run and gun shooter where heavy artillery and deadly vehicles are a plenty. That is, whoever wrote that never took English class. Hey, here we go. We we have an, another we have another game. The, it, it, it's Bobble Ya. And what do we have here? We we have Hyundai Kia Daewoo uh, and whatever. I don't care. Next up, the King of Fighters ninety nine. Another King of Fighters tournament is on the horizon. On the horizon? No, we have like gone beyond the horizon, and it's up to you, me. And your team, my team, really, of brawlers to come out on top. And where's the comma? Should be right after Horizon. Select your crew. Now, see, let me reread this if somebody who actually took an English language class would do it. It's time now for another King of the Fighters tournament. And this one is right on the Horizon. It's up to you and your selection of team of brawlers to defeat and come out on top of amongst the other fighters. Have a selection of your crew from a healthy roster of old favorites along with new battlers. Battle your friends in an all new strike. Whoa, whoa, back up! Striker match? Striker match? No, no. That's not what the Strikers do. What the Strikers do in this game is similar to what Arthur does in Marvel vs. Capcom 1. That's an insult. I'm not even going to finish the last two words there. Next up, Wipeout. Drive by instinct. Experience the gut-wrenching white-knuckle ride of your life. Okay, I'll go play F-Zero. Next up, next up is, this is... This is actual, I think this is Panel de Pawn, but I am not actually sure. So I'm going to call it Jijanmin, and, uh, um, and Oi Kimchi, and uh, let's see what else, Kim Pop, and uh, oh, what else do I want to call this here? Um, well, I, already, I already used Monduku. Um, hmm, let's see, I'm all out of Korean foods and bad words. So, <laughs> moving on <laughs> to the next game. <laughs> Final Fantasy VI. We need an eclectic, eclectic cast of heroes like Tara Branford and master the power of espers to defeat the maniacal Kefka. Kefka. K-F-C. Kefka. Kefka. He's maniacal. Maniacal. Maniacal laugh. Maniacal laugh. Okay, I know what the word is. Next up, the one of the best ones. Well, actually, these two are the best. Defeat the evil queen bra brain. Brain. That, that's what it is. Brain. It's brain now when I read it. The brain. And there's a way, and there's a feminine way. And it's not brawny. Okay? Brawny? Brawny as in the paper towels? You illiterate otaku fucks out there? No, it's brain. And save Alexandria Kingdom. See? See? I told you this is good. As Zidane tribal and friends explore the magic world of Gaia. Or Gaia, but I'm going to go with Gaia. Because, uh, well, actually, it's Gaia, if you want to get 
that Latin and Japanese, Latin, Japanese, Korean, and Spanish always say the majority of letters. So it it can't be it can't be ga or ga. It's actually gaia. Ga ga e a. Do you know how to yeah read Latin? All right. And uh, anybody who says I'm wrong, uh, uh, no, I Latin was drilled into my head in Catholic school. So suck it up, motherfucker. Okay, next up is the is not centipede. <laughs> next up is the um, cheap version of Rayman Two. Rayman is back, and just in time to save the day. Pirates have broken the heart of the world, captured warriors, and scattered energy. It's up to Rayman to step in and show them who's boss. Centipede. You have selected Centipede. The following show times are 7, 9, 11, 1, and 3. Alright, that's it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it because it's funny. Hello! Thank you for calling AOL Movie Phone. If you know the name of the movie you would like to see, please enter the first three letters of the title now. You have selected Centipede. Now playing at Century Orleans 18. The remaining show times are 6 p.m., 8 p.m., 10 p.m., and midnight. <laughs> Centipede, navigate the shooter through dangerous lands as you attempt to eradicate the insect threat. Really? I always thought it was to get a high score. Castlevania Chronicles. The 2D whip wheeling action game Castlevania returns the classic version never never in America. <laughs> this version of Castlevania is poo poo. Next up, tits. I mean, Tomb Raider. Follow the first lady of gaming, Princess Peach, Laura Croft, and her original adventure, Ms. Pac-Man. No, Ms. Pac-Man is the first lady of gaming. Princess Peach would be the first lady of Nintendo. Princess Zelda would be the first lady of Nintendo. Samus Aran would be the first lady of Nintendo. Chen Li would be the first lady of... Okay, so Laura Croft is not the first lady of gaming by a long shot. We have Chun Li. We have Cammy. We have Sakura. We have Marion from Double Dragon. And I really mean it. Let's not even talk about the anime games. There's Sailor Moon. You have Serena herself, or Usagi, Tsukino. You know, there you go. Oh, how about female Ranma? How about Akane Tendo? Tendo Akane, actually. And that'd be Tsukino Usagi, if we want to get technical about it. But, no. That is a bald-faced lie. So, it should be... This is Laura Croft in her original uh, first adventure, or something along those lines. Battle, battle, battle alongside. We do not battle alongside Laura. We don't battle in Tomb Raider. I'm not even gonna. Some stupid illiterate moron wrote that. Yeah, here's Gex. Gex, I'm gonna explain. Gex. Gex, the mascot of 3DO. The 3DO, the real 3DO system from Panasonic. Also made by Sanyo, Goldstar, ATT, and Creative Labs. Creative Labs one you have to put inside your computer. Gex, the lovable couch potato lizard, has been sucked into the wild worlds of the media dimensions. Help him escape and defeat the evil Rez by collecting remote open worlds inside your TV. And TV is capitalized. Seriously, whom, if anyone is at Sony is reading this, whom are the illiterate snowflake bastards you're hiring to write this stuff? Seriously, it's an insult. Next up. The game that is actually better than any version of Gran Turismo, the Drift Only Ridge Racer Type 4. Race in the Grand Prix. Yeah, I know it's pretty, but you know what? There's an X there, so now it's pricks. <laughs> power slide. Power slide, you mean drift around every corner for that checkered flag win. Uh, famous mascot. So famous, nobody knows who she is. Reiko Nagase awaits to congratulate, or is it Nagase Reiko? Congratulate, congratulate you at the finish. What? She's no, she's not. Okay. For all we know, if you ever seen the intro to this game, she got in the car and blew the guy while he finished the race. She's not famous. That's the first thing. 
Maybe she's famous in Japan. If I go around, hey, do you know Rico Nagase here in America? Who? What? Oh, Rico Nagase? Yeah, does she work at the Starbucks? <laughs> I mean, come on. All right. Here we go. Star Wars. Dark Forces. Dark Forces. Follow Kyle Kataran. No, I said that wrong. Kyle Katarn. Ex-Imperial Army personnel as he works as a merc for the Rebel Alliance. What dark secrets will he find? Uh, the plans to the Death Star. So, well, so does this game mean it's part of Rogue One? Or does Rogue One erase this game? I wonder. All right, next up. Harvest Moon, back to nature. Pull on your overalls and strap up your boots because raising a flourishing farm is one tough because there's no comma after boots. Not to men, no, no, there should be a period. And then, uh, bad summary again. I, you know, really, it bugs me because if you're going to write English, you need to write English properly. Fucking morons. Soft snake. Uh, excuse me. Erect cock is the best of the best and must defend his, no, he's not. He must defend his country from a nuclear incident. Expect to tactical espionage action in this thriller. Right. And was I expecting, um, pumpkin pies? Metal Gear Solid, just like Gran Turismo, one of the more overrated, shitty games that have ever been made. Why do I have it? Well, you know, I thought I wanted to play it again, and, well, I did, on my PSP. Alright, coming up next, Chrono Cross. Join Serge... <laughs> Serge, Serge, ach, well, ach, Foley, it's good to see Jenny. You've never seen Beverly Hills Cop? I'm, I'm doing Balky's character from there, Serge. Join Serge as he struggles, well, I can't just call him George. Um, as he struggles to uncover the secrets of his past and find the mysterious fo frozen flame in this timeless RPG. Frozen flame. I knew it. They put Liberace's body on ice. Okay, next up is one of the most overrated games that should be selling for $4.99 on Super Nintendo. Chrono Trigger. Is Chrono Trigger really good? No. Chrono Trigger is one of those games that dude bro, douchebag collectors keep on their shelves and say, Ugh, I got Chrono Trigger. And yesterday, I shot my, my cum all over the piano keys and then it wouldn't work anymore on my Super Nintendo, which doesn't work anyways because I have sex with it every night. Yeah, that is what collectors are. They're, they're masturbators of video games. Hell with them. Here's Chrono Trigger, and you can still buy this on a PS3, a PSP, or a PS Vita, and I do believe it's also available for DS, and I think it's available for download if you have a Wii U or a Wii on the Wii Shop channel. So tell those collectors to take their Chrono Trigger cartridge, put it up their ass without lubricant, twist it sideways, and live like that for the rest of their lives, because they're assholes. Oh, that was in the summary? This is Double Dragon. <laughs> it's the Neo Geo version of Double Dragon. Okay, okay here we go. Pac-Man World, 20th anniversary. Pac-Man has kidnapped Pac-Man's uh, abducted. They're not children. You see the word kid in there and then there's napped? It, uh, the word is abducted. Talkman has abducted Pac-Man's friends and family. Now Pac-Man must save everyone without getting gobbled. Who writes this shit? All right, next up, Mist, a surrealistic adventure that will become your world. Embark on a surreal journey full of mystery and adventure as you can immerse yourself in the interactive island of Mist. Mist, a tech demo for your Mac. Here we go. And this is the one I'm actually going to play. Remember I was saying in, in the Xbox version, well, I don't like that. I can use a PlayStation controller. I can use my... Ah, what is this, a DualShock 3? Oh, this is six axis I have, the six axis. Six axis. Let's say, six axis. <laughs> I have to read it to say it right. Evil of legacy. The a legacy of evil returns as a descendant of Dracula. You must whoop, back up. That storyline was disavowed because Dracula Legends on the Game Boy has been uh, whatever. And 
Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Anyways, this is a good game. This is the version I'm going to make a video from later. SimCity 2000. Need I say any more? I'm not even going to read the summary. That is... Wait up. Uh, let's go back. Let's go back. I have been complaining that I cannot play... You know what? I'm an idiot. Okay. So let's go back up. Here it is. The One of the more overrated games of all time. That has absolutely nothing to do with Final Fantasy. Yeah. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. Sorry, when you call something Final Fantasy, Fantasy Star, whatever, let's see. I want to see very little technology, like, uh, but, you know, He-Man had it too. But at the same time, I don't want to look like a, a, a bunch of steampunk flappers are running around in a ghetto world with presidents and trains and all that stuff. No, 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 Final Fantasy. I want to see knights, wizards, churches, chapels, things in the dark forest, chocobos, mogs. Mods, Moogles, uh, so forth and so on. My Life as King is closer than this. Crystal Chronicles is closer than this. And here we go. Bust a move for. And you people have already known that I've already played this. Next up is Disney Pixar Bug Life. A Bug Life. Disney Pixar. Like there's a difference. Play the role of Flick. You know what? <laughs> we have the original Rayman now. Uh, Mr. Dark. Yeah. This is a good game, though. Okay, next up is, uh, I wish... What a waste. What a waste. An absolute waste. I'm, I'm not even going to justify that by looking at it any longer. And here it is. Capcom vs. SNK2. Mark of the Millennium 2001. True. Shouldn't there be a space between SNK and 2? Choose from a stable. Stable? Really? Have a choice of over 40 warriors plucked. Plucked? plucked. I'm not even going to read that. And lastly, yes, very lastly, the game that has sullied Sony and PayPal in my, my eyes forever. One day, I should explain that. That day is today. This is Final Fantasy V. It's unique. See the Master 22 different jobs? That's accurate. It's a very unique game, though, though um, at the same time it could also be played through... It's pretty hard. I've learned that with all Final Fantasy games. And, and um, uh, Metroidvania, Castlevania. has got to level up early. Take full advantage of leveling up. So this is Final Fantasy V, and um, what happened was, if you look, there was um, I bought Final Fantasy III and Capcom vs. SNK2 at the same time. I was using I was using the um, app on my iPhone to do this. Little did I know, no, it's not like it was reported anywhere. That they were having uh, online troubles, maintenance at the PlayStation Store. Now those two went through, so I'm like, okay, well, I got my games. You know, I got Final Fantasy three on my PSP, and I have Capcom vs. SNK two on my PS three. Okay, so then I'm like, well, I also want Final Fantasy five. Now the thing is, I already had credit, store credit, on my um, PlayStation Store account. Well, it doesn't go through, so I click it again. It went through three times, but I was charged twice by PayPal. PayPal totally denies that they did anything wrong. Sony denies they did anything wrong. That made this game $20. This game is not worth $20. The other reason I'm buying is the disc has some weird scratches on it, so it's a little tough to play, and I don't appreciate them doing that to me. So, now we come to this. This is just it's a PlayStation format disc. And I hope you enjoyed that little tour of what I own online. We can also do this tour for Xbox 360. Or what I own downloaded, not necessarily online. I can do this tour for Xbox 360, um, even iPad. or Yeah, iPad. That's where I put my games on the iPad. I don't put it on the iPhone. On the iPad. I can do this for Wii and Wii U. Uh, and I can also do this for, did I already say the Xbox 360, Wii, Wii U, 
in the PS4 if uh, that's all desired. I think um, I do want to do this also for Xbox 360. I also want to do this uh, for my Wii U and the Wii Wii mode. I want to separate those two, obviously. Um, systems I would like to do, like the 3DS, I can't. Um, also, I have no means to uh, record. There's there's just something wrong. I I um. I was given a full refund on Bandicam because it just would not record on my Dell gaming computer whatsoever. So, um, I can't show you what I got on Steam and GOG and stuff like that. Uh, I guess I could by making screen caps and making a video from there. That's not too bad of an idea, but that's work. And uh, I'm not getting paid to do this, so there's very little incentive for me to put in that kind of effort. But uh, here it is, and those are all of the games I have downloaded here, and a good majority of my PSP games that I like to play when I take the PSP out on the go. And that's uh, that's pretty much it. So, C-O-F-F, the number 4, B-I-N-K, C-O-F-F-E-E, -E, the number 4, B-I-N-K-Y, at gmail.com. That's coffee for binky at gmail.com, or you can go visit Patreon with that. And, um, oh, and about, um, about the person sent me a personal email about the way the show was going. Uh, this is pretty much it. There may be, um, uh, this is what's going to happen with the individual fights. I, I have a ton of, ton, ton, ton of footage. That was created between March and July. And, um, I have also got a, a, a bunch of footage that I can't access right now on a, uh, on a bitchy hard drive. More or less a non-working hard drive. I can probably get in and do do a copy or something. I could probably do an entire export as an MP4, and then that would be the end of that footage. Um, the footage is going to be edited, but it's going to be strung up now in one-hour blocks. Exactly, well, a little over an hour, but not under an hour. Unless that's the last of my footage, and that's the, that's the way it's going. Um, because it's actually more work to cut up the individual episodes than it is just to keep... I mean, individual matches, and it is just to keep them as one long thing. Uh, ten games in ten minutes, that's that's done. That That's not happening because um, that's work. And when there's just too much work and no money coming in, there's absolutely no reason for me to do any of that work. So, hope you understand that. I hope you have that same philosophy in life. Um, you, you do things that benefit you. If you have a hobby, this is what is eventually turning into is a hobby here then um, you do things with that hobby. I did, I did for the record, I did apply with the uh, MGM Mirage Corporation, and um, I hope to hear back from them soon. Um, if not, there are other, other arcades in the Las Vegas area. The one I can't work for is the Pinball Hall of Fame because it's volunteer only. If I was retired, I would absolutely put my skills there. I'd be there every day because money wouldn't be a problem. I'd be retired, and that would be something I'd love to do when I'm retired. But I'm not retired. I won't be retired. Um, I won't be retired for 43 years. And with the way health and longevity and robotics is going, I may not be retired till I'm the age of 100. So, um, no, no hurry to work there. Um, GameWorks had a complete misunderstanding about whatever, so I have to uh, reapply there. And then these other places that exist, uh, absolutely not. I would, I would not I would not work at these places under any circumstances. Which reminds me i got to check something, though. So, uh, I took up about a half hour of your time. Sorry about that, and I hope you've enjoyed everything. You have a good day.